Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it is a huge month for you, without a doubt. One of the moments that will certainly stand out to you as you reflect back as we get to the end of the year. It is that important a time. And what makes it so is not just the new moon in your sign right around the 23rd, which does mark a brand new beginning for you. In some way, you are starting a new chapter. But it is how quickly things move, how deeply personal it feels, and how much it is that that new moon isn't just about you and you changing some understanding of self, of your identity even, but also your direction, your understanding of legacy, what's worth giving your time to, what's worth sacrificing for. This new moon will happen in your sign hand in hand with Uranus and speaking intention with Saturn, Saturn newly at the very top of your sky. And that connection with Uranus itself is very powerful. That suggests an unpredictability factor or a suddenness, if you will, a sense of you leaping into your future. It makes the new beginnings promised by the new moon that much more sudden, that much more quick. But it is that Saturnian connection that has you thinking big picture, that has you thinking long term and what is truly worth sacrificing for and maybe what no longer is. With Saturn newly at the very top of your sky, this is going to give you a chance to truly work towards your legacy, to understand what career goals are worth giving yourself to and which ones no longer are, to understand more deeply what your life purpose is. Now, with this new moon, that awareness accelerates. Now, part of that acceleration is very much about what is happening with you within. And the ground and stage is set early in the month. In fact, in the first week of the month, Mars moving through the very top of your sky will be speaking with Uranus as well. So this is where you may hear something or feel like things are changing rather quickly where it comes to your career. But what that means for you and the fresh start promised, well, that is really going to come together around this new moon. And I'll tell you, I actually really love this energy for you. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not seeing an easy journey around this time. But what I am seeing is you coming to an understanding as to what you really want to do, what's really worth doing, what your truth is, and who you really are, where it is that you compromised too much as to some truth about yourself, some identity that you hold near and dear, and where now that's just not going to work for you anymore. Now, this understanding of self is what fuels a new direction, not only in your life, but very likely in your career path and in your life purpose path. This is where you start to get serious about what it is you truly desire to do. And you start to commit to the journey more deeply because it is ultimately a commitment to self, a commitment to your own truth. For those of you who have already been on that path, who already feel as if you've been doing what it is that you felt you were meant to do, well, this is going to be a time of tremendous empowerment. Your understanding of what it is you could do independently to accelerate your pathway forward. But for others of you, I feel like this is going to be a brand new beginning in a brand new direction. And as uncertain it may be, it's also really exciting. It is exhilarating. It allows you to tap into a spirit of hope. And there's plenty of hope on offer now. So let's go back to the earlier part of the month, because that is when we are going to have a full moon right around the eighth of the month. Now, this full moon comes just days after the first exact connection of Jupiter and Pluto in the sky. These two planets meeting in fellow Earth sign Capricorn are helping you to expand your view of yourself in the world, expand your philosophical worldview, your literal 
worldview? Well, it is going to be this full moon that is happening in a daily part of the sky for you. It has to do with your workplace and the people who surround you there, the type of work that you're doing. And it's also related to your habits, in particular, your health related habits, how well you are taking care of you. Well, this full moon will be activating that meeting of Jupiter and Pluto. And even though Jupiter and Pluto are dancing throughout the year, this is their first exact connection, speaking with this full moon at that. So the focus is very much on how it is that these understandings of your philosophies, of the world, of your spiritual values, how is it now that that is going to be lived in a more practical way? How is it that you are going to ground them so that they change your life in some meaningful way? So of course, for some Taurians out there, this is going to represent a change uh, where it comes to your workplace. Now, that's not a big surprise, of course, because a lot of us are going through that right now, considering where we are at this point in the world and our collective experience together right now. But for you, it seems that much more personal, that much more meaningful whether it is that it feels like coworkers are leaving, whether it is that it feels like your understanding of the importance of what you are doing is evolving, your role within the workplace is changing. These can be some ways in which this energy comes forward now. And it asks you to check in with self. It asks you to check in with your understanding as to how it is that what you are actually doing aligns with your higher principles. But of course, there are going to be Taurians out there who experience this energy in the context of how well you are caring for you and where it is that greater attention or greater focus needs to be paid on that. You may be asked to take better care of yourself now, or at the very least feel more deeply spiritually connected to the importance of self care as an expression of self love of sacred self love. You're being asked, to give yourself now where it comes to matters of love i do think that the new moon in your sign is going to be very significant yes venus will go into shadow and i will have a venus retrograde horoscope special up so be on the lookout for that but at least for now and it isn't technically until next month that venus does go retrograde anyways but at least for now and for this month, I do think that new moon is going to be key, is going to play a very important part. Remember, next month, we are going to have a full moon in your opposite sign. That tends to represent a turning point in the context of relationships. But right now, the focus is on you. What do you really want? Who it is that you really are? And it is this understanding of self that is fueling your understanding of love, of your options, of your decisions, of your understanding as to where you are in love and why. At the same time, the ruling planet of your opposite sign, Pluto, will be standing still at the new moon in your sign and going retro just two days later. And so this further affirms to me that the understandings you are having of self in some way may very well be fueled by your interactions with another. If you are open to meeting someone new, it is very possible that you do have at least one important interaction, whether it is online in the virtual sphere uh, or otherwise, that helps you come to a moment of reflection, a moment of looking at you and your desires in every area of life. And that in turn will help you to connect with your own power to begin again in some key way. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody with Pluto standing still in the sky, it does suggest that you are coming to a depth of understanding as to who this person is and whether or not what you have here is real, deeply real or not. Where it is real, it is going to be now that you feel that connection that much more deeply. But where it is that it is not, that new moon is going to be like ripping off a band-aid and deciding to go in a different direction. For those of you in an established bond, I do think this can be a very powerful time where in some way your partner fuels your understanding as to where it is that you are ready to begin again in some key way where it is that you are ready 
to start fresh. It is your partner now that can help you to connect with that depth of understanding, that conviction within you that knows ultimately how it is and where it is that you are feeling more deeply connected to where change must happen. Once you get to that place with the help of your partner, well, the change happens that much more quickly and is that much more certain to accelerate your pathway forward. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be the new moon in your sign. That is a brand new beginning, a brand new start for you. This is an opportunity for you to feel as if fresh energy is coming in. It doesn't necessarily feel easy, but it is tremendously productive. This is a time that can change your direction for many years to come. Incredibly important and deeply meaningful to you. It is nothing less than you stepping into the truth of who you are. And that truth is invigorating and exciting. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes like the recent Saturn special horoscopes that are already in the superstar space and the Venus retrograde horoscopes coming up very soon in the superstar space and so much more. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.